Hello, and thanks for tuning into this ASGE video tip of the week. My name is Anu Prabhu, and here with me is Arpan Patel. Over the next few weeks, we wanted to focus on some of the fundamental concepts of electrosurgery, as well as how to use electrosurgical generators both safely and effectively. As you know, it's vital that GI physicians both understand how their units work, as well as take ownership for those tissue effects that occur or don't occur in our patients. We hope that by covering some core concepts, we'll improve your understanding of your generator and ultimately the care of your patients. For this week's tip, we'll review the physics of electrosurgery, the difference between constant power and constant voltage, and discuss mono and bipolar currents. As mentioned, this week's tip is part one of a two-part series. We will discuss the physics of electrosurgery, differences in generators based on voltage and power, and current. The term electrocautery and electrosurgery are often used interchangeably, but in reality represent two distinct means to apply heat to tissue. Electrocautery represents direct application of heat generated by a direct current through a metal conductor. In endoscopy, we typically use this with a heater probe. Electrosurgery, on the other hand, transforms alternating electric current to produce cellular heat, thereby generating the desired tissue effect. There are three basic effects of electrosurgery desiccation, vaporization, and fulguration. While desiccation uses direct contact to break down tissue and subsequently produce char, vaporization and fulguration rely on distance between the probe and the tissue to modify tissue. The frequency at which the alternating current is run dictates the effect on the tissue. Typical frequencies for endoscopic electrosurgical generators are between 200 kHz and 3.3 mHz. Frequencies below 100 kHz cause neuromuscular stimulation and are well below what is used in endoscopy. The three variables in electrosurgery that create effect are current, which is the flow of electrons, voltage, which is the force that pushes that flow, and the resistance, which is opposition to current flow, as pictorially represented on the right. Current varies directly with the voltage, whereas it varies inversely with the resistance. Power, on the other hand, represents work done per unit time. Current electrosurgical generators employ either constant power or constant voltage. With constant power generators, the set power is kept at a constant, while voltage changes in real time to ensure that the watts delivered to the tissue is constant. In contrast, with constant voltage generators, the power delivered varies with changes in the tissue resistance. Specifically, as tissue resistance increases, current correspondingly decreases to maintain the desired voltage. Electrosurgical generators have both monopolar and bipolar modes. In monopolar mode, the electrical current uses the body as the medium through which the current passes, ultimately exiting from the grounding pad. Examples include hot snare or sphincterotomy. In bipolar mode, the endoscopic device contains both the active and neutral electrode, and therefore the grounding pad as a sink is not needed. An example of this is the bipolar probe. Most modern electrosurgical generators have built-in safety warnings to alert the endoscopist if the grounding pad is insufficient skin contact. That being said, it is important to keep in mind optimal grounding principles. An ideal grounding pad location is well vascularized, close to the site of the procedure, away from any implants or scars, and with good skin apposition. The flank is considered an ideal location for endoscopy in those without hardware in the area. Patients should have jewelry and watches removed, and their hands should be free of the bed rails. During next week's video tip of the week, we'll discuss specifics about cutting and coagulation currents, what a blended current is and when to best use it, and what happens when you vary coagulation effect. Thanks again for watching.